What is up here YouTube? Jigsaw0097 here today, bringing you a quick video just because I've been reading some Eagles news today, you know, as I wake up in the morning, I kind of just go over my news feed on Facebook and stuff like that to kind of keep current with the Eagles news so I can um, come up with video ideas for you guys. Um, and this one kind of crossed my, my path today. Connor Barwin is actually holding out on the Rams currently. Um, because he wants to quote unquote play for a Super Bowl contender. Now, this is very interesting, guys. As you guys know, the Eagles did release him last year um, around this time, actually. Um, and he went and signed with the Rams. And it's interesting to see that he's holding out for a Super Bowl contender. A lot of people would say that the Rams are a Super Bowl contender. In fact, my top picks are um, Eagles, Rams, Vikings. That's the best in the NFC right now. So he's already on the team that he would say is a Super Bowl contender, um, according to most people. But it looks like he um, doesn't consider it that way. You do have a lot of unproven talent right now in L.A., um, Jared Goff, we don't really know yet either. We, He had a great year last year, but this is kind of the year the Rams need to take off if they're going to be taken seriously as um, a consistent playoff slash Super Bowl contender. Um, and so that's interesting. To me, it's like Connor Barwin either wants to return to the Eagles, um, go play for Minnesota, or maybe go to the AFC and play for someone like Pittsburgh or Jacksonville. Um Whichever one will take him, or even, God forbid, New England. Ugh. But um, <laughs> those are the teams that I'm looking at as Super Bowl contenders this year, guys. Um, with some possible surprises, like in the NFC, the 49ers, and in the AFC, the Colts. Um, I just think now that the Colts have Frank Reich and the return of Andrew Luck, um, they're a team to look out for. And then, of course, in San Francisco, you have Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, who is vastly unproven at this point, but I still think can help um, get that team over the, the hump. I mean, they're in a division now where the Seahawks are fouling, the Cardinals are just kind of stagnant, and really only the Rams are there to compete. So I think it's going to be the Niners and the Rams next year in that division. And then the Colts division, like I said, it's just the Jaguars, really. I mean, the Titans and the Texans have really proven nothing to me at this point. Um not saying they're not talented, they're just, um, I think they're like middle of the road, so. So yeah, Connor Barwin wants to sign with a Super Bowl contender then, guys, so who do you think he could go to? The Vikings, they already have a very stacked defense, and they just got Kirk Cousins, that would be a great fit for him. Staying with the Rams would be a great fit, I think, as well, just because, you know, you still got Jared Goff, I mean, he's no Carson Wentz, but he's not a bad quarterback by any means. And you keep him with Sean McVay and good things can happen. Then there's the Eagles, guys, which this is kind of why I'm making this video, actually, because this this is pretty awesome. If he wants to play for a Super Bowl contender, and he even said in the interview that he's, he's getting older, you know, he's got a couple more years left. Um, he does want money, but it didn't sound like money was the most pressing concern, especially if you're wanting to win a Super Bowl. Um, could he come back to Philadelphia? Um, I think that would be a fantastic idea, honestly. You could get him back in the rotation of things, add some depth there, you know, similar to like Chris Long. You could just kind of alternate him out. Maybe sign him on just a one-year deal, too, just so that he could um, make another run with Philly because um, a lot of people, myself included, think that the Eagles have a legitimate chance to make another run this year. Um, especially given how the NFC is vastly unchanged for the most part. I mean, Kirk Cousins is on the Vikings, but the Eagles are used to playing that guy. We played him every year twice in freaking Washington. And then you got the Rams, which the Eagles have already beaten, and we get to play them again in L.A. Um, this year. So those are the teams, really, and, and the Eagles have a, they have a big chance. We do have a huge... Um, disadvantage with our schedule this year though just because we are playing a lot of uh playing a like a number one schedule not gonna be easy but but yeah Connor Barwin returning to the Eagles guys and then like I said on the AFC really you got the Jaguars another really good defense um Blake Bortles to me though he's probably the weakest quarterback out of any of the contenders I just don't see it in that guy he's like a poor man's Ben Roethlisberger with all the bad aspects of Ben Roethlisberger. 
And then, of course, you have Ben Roethlisberger himself in the Steelers, um, which they're more offensive-minded, so I don't know if you'd want to go there because their defense is good, but it's not like the focus of that team. Really, I think coming back to the Eagles or going to, like, the Vikings would be his best move. Um, so we'll just have to see what he does, guys. But anyway, that's kind of the video. Just wanted to ramble on about that a little bit. Connor Barwin wants to play for a Super Bowl contender, guys. What do you think about this? Do you think he should come back to the Eagles? Do you think there's maybe other teams that I forgot to mention that might be up and coming? Maybe I overlooked them that he could go to? What do you guys think? Comment down below. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're returning to the channel, hit that like button. And thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, guys, this is Jigsaw0097. I will talk to you all later.